here from Triangle Truth with, with it's Sean. What's going on, guys? Hey. So we know we took a little bit of break. That's because we have big news. So me and Jay got married. Hey. Oh my God! I know. I'm so excited. So I'm here with the big brother to talk about our haul this week. We went to the comic book store, our local one right here in town, and we picked up our stuff that we've kind of been a little bit uh, lax on because of all the wedding stuff. Yes, but have no fear. Uh, everything is going to ramp up. We're going to get everything kind of back to where it was. Yeah. And we've got a lot of stuff coming up for you guys. We are so happy. We are so excited. Yay. And this is actually one of the new things that we're going to do is you're going to start seeing when we go to the comic store and the stuff that we get. Yeah. So we're very excited. So I guess I will let Jen, ladies first, let her go and see what she's got. Okay, so the very first thing I want to show is live wire. Our Sandy came in. Woo! I'm so excited. Uh, we definitely love, as you can tell, we love Valiant. We get the standees all the time. Our comic store is super awesome about it. Mm -hmm. She's really cool. Um, so the very first comic that I picked up today is Stabity Bunny by Scout Comics. So this one's a standalone one-shot out of the actual Stabity Bunny. So this one's in its story. I haven't read this one yet, but I love, <coughs> love the series. The It's really got like these bright colors in the artwork, but it has like sort of a dark story along to it where it's, it's a little girl with powers kind of that her bunny saves her life pretty much during crappy times of, of life and you get to see really what is behind the rabbit as you go through the story so this one is about Emmett's story instead of the little girl so we're gonna see I can't I haven't read any of these yet so I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen there Sean what you got well I've got another one it's a also from Scott comics it's a debut of their new, a new series for them called white ash um, what it's about is actually kind of escaping my mind, but I remember when I read the synopsis, it was something that I was really interested in. Not to mention Scout just puts out a lot of really yeah. good stuff in general. So even if I didn't know, I'm very willing to give them a shot because they are that good at yeah. some of the stuff they've written. Stabity Bunny, Solar Flare, yeah. uh, Graveland, just stuff like oh, that. Yeah. It's all fun. And so, yeah, that's definitely one that I look forward to reading. Definitely. Scout Comics is a definitely a really cool kind of like indie type company that just it's really cool to see what they're doing uh, so another one I have it's another one of those companies that doesn't do a whole lot they focus on like three or four stories at a time and then once that story wraps up then they go on to another one um, and it's time for a new one so this one's called kids and as you see this cover is the variant cover where it's based off of the um, uh, Lost Boys. There it is. Okay. The Lost Boys back in the 80s. So I'm really excited. It's number one. I've, I've only, I haven't really heard a whole lot about the story itself, but I have heard some really cool things about the company. There's one other thing they do that I read called Unsacred, where it's an angel and a demon fall in love. That's where I thought I knew yeah, the blaze from. Definitely. Okay, that makes so sense. So this is their, this is their new baby. Their new lovely. I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it. Ablaze is, is a really good company. They've done some amazing things. The artwork is always captivating, nice. which is what always catches me, definitely, yeah. All right, so for my next one, this is a company that I'm not sure if any of us have actually ever heard of. Um, the company is called uh, Wave Blue World. Oh, it's a new the, company, yeah. This is kind of done in conjunction with Comixology, I guess is a Kickstarter, and it's called Mezzo. Um, so Mezzo is basically the name of the world that they live on based on the really quick synopsis that I saw. Yeah. And it's basically a force is trying to take over and this mm -hmm. girl watches her someone in her family get killed mm -hmm. and so now you're seeing them fight back. So I, nice. I was like, I'm willing to give this a shot because some of these indie companies, you just... I love them. Honestly, a lot of the stuff they put out is better than even some of the big names. Like, for the most part, uh, you know... I'm ready for the comments below, bring them on, but a lot of what these indie companies put out is better than Marvel yeah. right now, so I just that's how I feel, and I'm really excited to check this one out because it's a brand new company, a very small company it seems like, and one that we hope to get behind. Yes, definitely. So what have you got? So mine is uh, Dark Horse Comics. You guys have seen me do a lot of their stuff. Uh, they're definitely my top five companies. And this one is called Frankenstein Undone. The artwork seems very familiar to me. It almost looks like Hellboy's type. So the artwork is very similar to Hellboy because it's done by the same people who did Hellboy. Uh, so I'm really excited to see. This one's only going to have five issues in it. This is number one of it. And it, it seems kind of like we're going to be following Frankenstein now. Like 
like this looks like it's gonna be like kind of like the origin and then I've seen some of the other covers and we're just gonna have to see where the story goes I'm really excited to see what they do Dark Horse does some really they they keep up with their name they do some dark comics yeah, and as everybody knows I'm a fan of dark and uh Gritty is the word I think I'm looking for. Yeah. Dark, definitely. horror, ma magical, <laughs> yeah. you name it, that's you. Yeah. So my next one is from a company that is probably Jenna's like numero uno, if not really close number two, and that's Aftershock. Oh, and that. this is Mary Shelley Monster Hunter. Kind of gives a Frankenstein, that's funny. Not going to lie, didn't even bother to open my phone to see what it's about. I just saw Mary Shelley. I'm a huge fan of her writing in general. Yeah. I know Aftershock's been killing it. Oh, yeah. So I was like, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to give it a shot because I bet it's going to be good. And even yeah. if for any reason I end up not liking it, she will because there's like nothing from Aftershock she doesn't like. It's yeah. pretty much just take their catalog and she's the human encyclopedia of their stuff. So I'm excited <laughs> to read it. I hope she reads it too. Oh, yeah. And that way we can, maybe we can do like a, a dynamic duo review yeah. on this or something. It'd be yeah. really cool. Definitely. So um, anything after shock, I always have second dibs. If I'm not the one getting it, I always have like as soon as you're done with it, yo. Yeah. What up? Speaking uh, of after shock. <laughs> yeah, speaking of after shock. So uh, after shock is doing this kind of a uh, really big storyline. This is their main like continuous going, kind of like how the Spider Man has been going on for all these years, or or like X Men and stuff like that. So this is their big, just gonna go on forever. I don't see an end in sight. And if I if I did, I'd be really sad you would. <laughs> so like i said love aftershock this one's animosity number 26 i'm really excited i've been reading all of them even the side storylines were phenomenal and the one shots that they've been doing with it are really cool and um you guys have heard me talk about a little bit where all the animals come alive just like instantly have the Brain, they're, Con they're, yeah, they have cognitive abilities. They can they're talk. Right. They can think. Yeah, basically anything, just like a human. And yeah. that's what they do. And yeah. they inter And it's not just the humans went dumb and the animals got smart. No, no, everybody's. It's, yeah, everybody lives kind of coexists on Earth now. Mm. Ish. <laughs> they're trying. <laughs> they're trying, and they're not failing. very well. <laughs> uh, and I bet you guys can guess who is who's failing. So this one's number twenty six. I'm really excited to see. As you can tell, they've kind of. The pets have come, the pets, the animals have come along to weaponizing fully instead of just partially like they did in the I beginning. I was going to say, yeah. that's a very different cover from a lot of the early ones. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, they've definitely, they're evolving to be even smarter than when they first woke up. So it's really exciting to see what they got. All right, Sean, what else you got? Well, this next one is actually one that all of us have. Um, they, Jenna and Jay have a copy. I have a copy. So we're just going to say this one together. But got it you. is a brand new. Quantum and Woody's back. The brand new run, number one. We cannot wait. Yeah. I believe in this one now they're back as a team. Yeah. Whereas okay. the last run they were kind of fighting a little bit and whatnot. Yeah. So now we get to see them back to being the goofballs yeah. that we all know and love. What I'm really excited to see on the cover is the goat's back. The goat is back. So yeah. that is one thing ah. that we were excited to see on the cover. For those of you that have not read some of the early runs, read it. The goat. Oh, freaking awesome it is it definitely it's not just about the comic relief it brings it's also about how much it saves those boys like oh oh god we're not going to so tell funny. you the goat secret no. you're going to have to read and find that out for yourself definitely all right so the next one i got i'm really excited about so i've been reading i've been reading this company since the 90s like the the late 90s this was one of my like first companies that i just like dove into it's zenoscope this one is bell the, the Beast Hunter, she, she's the original main series of it was Beast Hunter, so we all kind of get an idea of what she's like. But this one is Oath of Thorns, number four. I think this is either the second to last, or I can't remember if it's going to be five or six in this series. So it's really starting to close up some of the storylines, and I'm really excited to see, because there's there one side one with Medusa, as you can see on the cover. Um, it's the main one she's, she's hunting, and I'm really excited to see what how she's going to do it because she's, she's, she's a badass. <laughs> I, I was trying to find a good way to say it. Badass is the only thing I can come up with. Yeah, that's okay. So speaking of Zenoscope, Love Zenoscope, as I was walking through the store today, I happened to spot the trade for this after I had read the number one just the other night, uh, actually, huh. that I've had for a little bit. And I actually forgot I had it. So that's a shame on me. 
But it's a Zenoscope, Robin Hood, who is one of my favorite characters, and it's the Hunt storyline. Yeah. And all i got to say is after reading the first issue, I cannot wait to finish this. It yeah. is a weird, really cool, dark, magic, out there kind of storyline, and I think this is going to be freaking awesome. It is a little gory, yeah. and it's some pretty epic artwork in this one. So definitely be on the lookout for either myself or Jenna to give you a review on this one. Yeah, Zenoscope does some really amazing things. Like they take the old fashioned storylines that you know and they twist them. Not just gender bend, I mean like they twist them ugly style and it's beautiful it. the way they do it. The absolute best one I still think is the serial killer Cinderella. I oh, love that Yeah, one. definitely. That's my favorite Oh, so she's far. so, oh, she's, she's so, uh, there's no way to describe her except for awesome. Yeah, her and Deadpool need to have a crossover. Oh, oh. That'd be awesome. I ship them already. <laughs> They can so, jump universes and kill everybody together. Exactly. That'd be awesome. Oh my God, that so, so cool. Okay, but believe it okay. or not, that is actually all of my comic haul for today. So the next few are going to be all Jenna because it's been a little longer for them because of <laughs> the uh, excitement that has been filling the house for the last month. Yeah, definitely. So, so, so this one is um, Batman Superman by DC uh, number six. So as everybody, or as, at least a few of you do know, they're coming off of their Year of the Villain that they did last year that was also uh, coming off of Metal. So you have a whole lot of the different Batmans are coming through the universes, and this one is basically Superman Batman against the Batman Who Laughs, which is a combination of Batman and Joker, but more evil, if that... Do you get... Mm, yeah. If that's such a thing, yeah. It's, yeah. it's probably one of DC's greatest character creations in yeah. the last probably... I'd say 20 years, oh, yeah. in my opinion. Definitely, definitely. The next one I'm really excited about, so everybody knows I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and every good superhero needs a good villain, as my shirt indicates. Um, and this one is based off of Scream, the Curse of Carnage number three. So Scream is a symbiote that's off of a very long line. I think she's like the granddaughter of Carnage, and that makes her the great granddaughter of Venom. Yeah, I. Mm. There's a lot of great and grand and whatever. Every time a symbiote would take over somebody, a little piece gets left, or a little piece leaves and becomes something else. It's it's quite a uh, convoluted. Is that the word? That's a good word. Yeah, that's a good convoluted word. Convoluted kind of like. Sex. Family tree. Family. Yes, thank you. Family so tree. and it's Scream is my favorite. She just. Something about her just grabs me in and I can't look away because the evilness that is Scream is just... You sure it's not the name that just grabs you? Shut up. The evilness. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't the hate The evilness me. is so great. Mm. The evilness is so great. All right, so my last two is... I'm really, really excited that we saw this at the comic book store. So this is by a company that's been doing Kickstarters for... Oh, gosh, like five or six years, I want to say give or take, so they're not really like in comic book stores. And this was really cool to see. It's by a company called Comics Tribe, which you guys have seen us do a couple of. And we bought, they, we bought everything that they had. So it's sync number one and sync number two. I'm really excited. It's gonna be death and gore and just like, death and gore. <laughs> but, yeah, for any of you that have followed the channel, of course you know Jay is our resident Comics Tribe yeah. dude. But I still but, love them. From all of us here, we can flat out tell you, Comics Tribe does not write a bad they don't. story. They do Everything is, that they've ever done has been amazing. Everything they do is so freaking awesome. Yeah. Uh, this, Red 10. Yeah. Oxymoron. Oxymoron. Oxymoron has got to be one of the greatest villain characters I've ever read about in just comic ever. history. Ever. Like, ever. It, you know, and we all say it, it's Joker turned up to 11. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Yeah. It makes Joker look G-rated. Pretty much. He makes the Joker look G-rated. And he's funnier. That's yeah. what's... The craziest thing. He's yeah. funnier, but he's... And he lives up to his name. Yes. Everything that's an oxymoron. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, and that's, that's it for comics that I've got today. But we do have some very special little pops here. What one was yours? Well, I'm a big War Machine guy. So I got a War Machine pop. Yeah. Let me be honest here. And people can, you know, you can comment below. Let me know whether you like me or hate me. <laughs> I love War Machine more than I do Iron Man. Yeah. And it's because of the suit. The suit to me looks cooler. A mini gun on your shoulder, the missiles, yeah. just all the stuff for me. I've I've been a big War Machine fan ever since I first saw him 
in the 90s Iron Man cartoon, I was just like, that's cool. Yeah. And then I would always try to be him in any of the video games whenever they did, you know, your Iron Man, your X-Men, oh, yeah, 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 versus yeah. Capcoms, all those. I was always War Machine before I was Iron Man. That's just how I've always been. The little so, gun always reminds me of Predator. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then boom. Yeah. All right, Jen. So I know my, you're excited. It's so excited. So everybody knows I am a huge Hellboy fan. I've read some. I've read half, at least half the comics, and then I've seen all the movies at least ten times, even the <laughs> new one that I hated on. Which fight me, it was really good. Y'all just haters. Love you. So what I got was the pop. I'm so excited. So this is the PX exclusive one. So that means it's a little bit different. This is the one that has, he has a sword, he's missing an eye, and he has the all-around general, like, mad at the world look to it. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. I think they did an amazing job. I wasn't sure when they first announced it, said that, oh, he's going to be missing an eye. I was like, okay, so is it just going to be a hole in his head? No. What they did was so much better, where it's just like an indention of just... Where an eye was. Death. Yeah, we I'm saw so this happy. one on the rack, and we were like, you know what? We have no Hellboy in our yeah. collection. This is my first Hellboy pop. I'm so happy. The first of many. It's Yay. coming. I'm so excited. I love it. The The books are amazing. The The comics are amazing. And it definitely has a an all-around different type of art style that you don't mm -hmm. really see I agree. anywhere. That's part of the reason why even me, who I'm not like the biggest pop fan yet, <laughs> even I saw Soon. it was like, dude, bro dude. Soon. Gotta have it. Yeah. So that... Yeah, so we grabbed that, and we're really excited to get it up on the, you know, many display <laughs> areas that we have around the house that yeah, we will, the we promise pops. a tour is coming, because yes. we've got trees, just small displays, like, everywhere, yeah. and we cannot wait to show that to you We guys. legit have an actual just wall at this point, too, so. Like, at least two. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. And I, I enjoy them immensely, especially with how far they've come, they've They've just come such a long way. Mm -hmm. And the characters that they do are not always characters you'll find everywhere. Like Hellboy. You won't find Hellboy everywhere. And this one's the PX exclusive glue. So, I mean, it's so pretty and so cool. And it's the sword. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I can't wait. All right, guys. So that's all we got for you today. So definitely catch us again for getting reviews to catch up with us as we're reading these and coming along. Bye. Later, guys.